I'm assuming I'm not the only person whose social media timelines have been filled with this big breasted woman recently. Big boobed animated cartoon lady. I started seeing her like a month ago, but I'm sure there's parts of the internet that have known about her for years. I'm late to the party. Who is she? What's her origin story? Why is she built like that? And is it natural? I needed to investigate. Well, turns out she's actually a character from Goat Story, an animated movie from the Czech Republic. Plenty of people have already made videos about this movie. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen any of the videos about it. You're telling me there's a two hour movie starring this woman. Obviously I'm in. I'll pay up to $12 to rent it. Let's jump in. Let's get this going. The company behind Goat Story is Art and Animation Studio. And just from their little intro or whatever, I know we're in for a treat. That demented creature from a different dimension? Are you kidding me? If this company just created this, that would already be enough. But they also also made whatever this is too. Icons, Disney, Pixar, you're done. You had a great run. I only want to see animated movies from the art and animation studio from this point forward. I said what I said. <sighs> The film begins, and I guess we're in the medieval times or something. They mentioned something about like King Charles the Fourth. So like that time period is where we're in, I guess. I don't remember exactly what they said because I was distracted by this goat spank. A minute into the movie and a goat's getting slapped on the rear. If you're gonna call it goat story and that doesn't happen, I'm out. I'm clicking off. They start doing some close-ups to these cartoon faces and this is why I don't do drugs. Hear ye, hear ye, to all in Prague. Like these people are terrifying. I just picture you do the wrong drug, it's laced with something, and for the rest of your life, this is how you view reality. This is how you view your loved ones. Like, I couldn't, and I won't. I wouldn't be able to survive that. Oh my gosh, imagine getting abducted by aliens, and they bring you to their planet, and it looks like this. Ew! The darkest thing imaginable. In the daytime, it's modern and marvelous, but at night, magical and mysterious. Well, I'm assuming at night is when the lady's gonna come out. She's mysterious and magical. Magical, all right. Where is she? I'm kind of mad that we're five minutes in and she hasn't appeared. I might have to contact customer service for a refund if she doesn't pop up quick. Where's the big hooter female? That's what I always am thinking whenever I'm watching movies. I'm always waiting for the big well-endowed woman to enter on the screen. So the goat who got spanked and the man who spanked the goat, they're super excited to enter this city of Prague. I guess in Prague, they're like building a bridge, which is gonna be the best bridge ever. So that's cool. They're like swinging horses around. PETA needs to maybe stop by just swinging animals around all willy-nilly like that. Prague, get your act together. Turns out the goat Spanker. He has dreams of being an artist, like sculpting things that whole life. But unfortunately, he has to do manual labor on the bridge instead, which not only sucks because it'd be hard and sweaty and stuff, but also a bunch of people are dying making this bridge, <laughs> turns out. They even have a casual chalkboard to keep track of the deaths. Just keeping track of how many people are dying from making this bridge, I think just for fun. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do with those numbers. I think it's, yeah, just a way to pass the time for the manager. Like, up oh, another one died. Let's see how many we get to today. It's kind of like a game for him and for just him. I mean, I get it. When you're bored on a job, you got to do fun stuff like that to pass the time. Just straight up skeletons laying around. But it's worth it because apparently this bridge is going to be super cool. So it's fine. A few deaths every day. Like, they're going to get a bridge in the end. So it's all for something. Don't worry, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get to work. Move that dead guy. Come on. This seems like a great place to work. So I'm happy the goat spanker got a job there. Eight minutes and 27 seconds in, finally we're seeing some goods! Yes! I was one minute away from turning it off, but they saved it. Oh, what? Yeah, according to Wikipedia, Goat Story won a bunch of awards for best family kids movie or something in the Czech Republic. Like already I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, a family animated film. Someone has such a big boobs. But then again, like people have big boobs in real life. So like, why shouldn't someone just because they have big boobs be in a family movie, you know? It's almost like discrimination if they weren't allowed. But I guess this is animation. So like they're creating the bodies. These aren't real people, but it still be discrimination in my book if big boobed people weren't allowed in animated 
films. But when motorboating happens, hooter knocking in the faces, like that's where I draw the line. I am not letting any of my five kids watch this. No. Anyway, back to big boobs. So that other woman we saw, that wasn't the big boobed woman. The lady who made me even rent this movie, she's finally about to have her debut scene. So the goat spanker is working away on the bridge. He's looking for nails or something. And he's like, oh, there's no nails left, dang. But then. Give me another nail, goat. I just told you we're out. Gosh, what's your problem? Thanks. Huh? Ah! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like another nail, sir? <laughs> <clears throat> I think a romance is a Bruin. I love a good love story. He took one look into her eyes and fell into deep blissful lust. This film is pulling at my heartstrings. <laughs> <laughs> you two are hilarious. <laughs> Kim Kardashian who? This animated character is about to end a lot of people's careers. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I almost forgot. So sorry about that. Oh, what'd you forget, ma'am? <laughs> Look, yeah. here's huh? a nail. Huh? She really had all of those nails in the deep valley between her breasts. Also, was that a seductive lip bite moment from the goat spanker? Goat story surprised me once again. I went in knowing there was gonna be hooters, but I didn't expect motorboating and I didn't expect objects coming out of the cleavage. Like I didn't know they were gonna be such a big part of the movie, but I'm glad they're utilizing them. This is great. Thanks a lot, Casey. Oh, stop doing that. Okay, this work environment is actually so toxic. Go her for standing up for herself. Also, our main character, the goat spanker, he didn't even defend her. It's like I'm sort of hating him now. Like he just watches her get spanked and he's just like, oh, that's fine. Uh, no. Being a bystander is almost just as bad when you don't say anything. Katie. 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 What's so great about her? Mm. Okay, she goes by Katie. I'm glad we now have a name for this iconic character, Katie. Also, the goat is getting a little bit jealous of her, I see. So it makes me wonder, like, does the goat want to get with the human man? Like, was the spank before sort of a way to prime the audience? Like, okay, there's a little bit of a connection between them, but like, he doesn't fully like the goat. Like, I don't know. I think we might be entering a vicious, juicy love triangle between these three. Who's he gonna pick in the end? Katie or his goat? At this point, I'm not sure. Okay, I love a good mukbang moment. I'm not sure who this thing is, but okay. Good afternoon, father. He's Katie's dad, guys. Okay, I'm following along. So, uh, what have you got? Here you are. Very nice. Uh, they seem to be of fine quality. They look like the very kind. They used to build the Vatican. <laughs> Mm. Katie's storing things up top, I guess is gonna be a recurring theme in this movie. We're getting more of that, which of course I love. She's gonna pull a wheelbarrow out of there next. Just a life-size sculpture will be coming out of the Breast Valley. This scene also is like sort of making me suspicious of Katie because it seems like her and her dad are doing like a secret operation. Like are they sabotaging the bridge or something? I'm not really sure. I'm just getting suspicious. Maybe that's why her boobs are so big because they're full of secrets. The goat spanking man is so deeply enthralled with Katie that he's carving her figure into the bridge, but like the bottom part of the bridge that's holding the entire bridge up. What's wrong now? If I hated this man before, I extra hate him now. He literally just murdered multiple innocent workers. All because he couldn't get his mind off Katie's tatatis. I'm done. Literally dozens of people dead because of his little stupid careless mistake. And you still hear people saying like, oh, if a woman was president, they wouldn't be able to do anything because their mind would be everywhere else. Like, oh, is my makeup good? This man can't even build a bridge without his mind wandering on hooters of Katie. And he literally caused multiple 
people to die. Yes, the goat story made me realize that we do need a woman president more than ever. Now more than ever. I'm done. Gosh. No wonder why nothing ever gets done in the government. Because they're all just thinking about Katie's boobs. I know it. I know that for a fact. Anyway. I demand to know who is responsible. <laughs> Get the donkey! Get the donkey! Ah! Oh, and of course he lets his goat take the blame. What a great guy. Cancelled. Death to him, is what I'm thinking. Oh my god, the demonic beast from the little intro from the movie studio made a cameo. Ooh, a little Easter egg moment. I love that. People always talking about Taylor Swift's Easter eggs in our music videos, but not enough discussion is around Ghost Stories Easter eggs. Is it even considered an Easter egg? Like if that's the person from their little intro logo and it's also in the movie, is that an Easter egg? Maybe I don't really understand how the Easter eggs work, but all I'm saying is Ghost Story did it first, not Taylor Swift. Sorry, Swifty Nation, just facts. The little goat is getting a little bit tipsy and the truth starts spilling out. Jimmy, will you marry me? That just wouldn't work out at all. No, not at all. I knew it! I called it! I predicted this family children's animated movie. I shouldn't be too proud of myself for being able to be one step ahead of this movie, but... I am. I'll take it. I'm proud of myself. The goat wants to F the man. <laughs> yes! This is getting juicy. The tea has been spilt. It's because I'm a goat, isn't it? It's because I'm a goat. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope it's because she's a goat. That should be the reason why you don't want to take her down the aisle. Since she's an animal. Like, maybe stick to that reason. I know I already went on a tangent before about how drugs are bad. This is why alcohol is bad. People, listen up. You have a few drinks. You think you're gonna have fun. Oh, maybe hoot hoot hooray. Dance the night away. No, you're gonna start considering marrying an animal. And it happens every time. To everyone. Up, two drinks down, talking about fornication with goats. Don't drink. <laughs> Bestiality. The best theme that every family of kids animated movie has. Yay! Meanwhile, Katie finds the wooden replica of herself. It looks like me. It's beautiful. She ain't humble, but if you looked like her, would you be? That's what I thought. I love how she's just admiring at this figure of herself and she's not aware that that exact figure caused multiple hardworking men to die. I feel like even if she knew that, she wouldn't care. But I'm still on her side, of course. Anyway, back to the bestiality storyline. Someone discovers him for being an artist because he's like carving away at something. So he has his little discover moment. This is the medieval version of nowadays like being discovered at the mall. Like just walking out of Aeropostale and some scout comes up and says, hey, have you ever thought about modeling? And then you say, yes, actually I have. And then you end up paying them $10,000 and it's all a scam. This is the medieval version of that. Love. About three minutes have passed in the movie and nothing that weird has happened. So of course this occurs. Huh? This is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> well, I was starting to get bored, I'll admit. But, uh, I'm engrossed once again. Good night, goat. Good night. The goat might actually be winning this love triangle battle. I think he might pick the goat in the end. Like, maybe she's gonna win his heart. So you'd expect the girls to be fighting over the goat spanking man, but they're feminists, honey, and they're supportive of one another. We love to see it. Aw, I brought something hmm. for you, sweetie. <gasps> see? Oh. It's a cabbage. Cabbage. Hope you like it. Yes, women supporting women. Here's some cabbage covered in my boob sweat. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. That's yeah. the one, I, That's all you need. You should be able to see. Beautiful. That is a lovely star. <laughs> Just some old men being peeping toms. <laughs> like the good old days. Again, this is a movie that was targeted at families. I don't know what's going on in the Czech Republic, but... Ugh, the goat. I feel horrible. Hooters woman and goat spanking man. They're having a flirtatious moment. And the goat just is the third wheel. Gosh, now the goat's losing the love triangle battle. I don't know what to expect anymore. This movie has so many twists and turns. The goat is so distraught that it's literally drinking away its sorrows. We've all been there. We've all had our heart broken. Because our crush left us for a well-endowed Hooter woman. Like, it's a tale as old as time. Ugh, relatable. Okay, they also keep showing this homeless twink man, who, like, everyone bullies in the movie. Like, I don't really know what's going on with him. But now, he just did a deal with the devil, I guess. Like, he sold his soul, so we have a cute little soul-selling moment. Satanic. <laughs> we love. So I'm assuming he's gonna kill everyone now. Because, like, he did a deal with the devil. I don't know. To be determined. Hey, 
I'm getting ready for bed right by the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> right by the... Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, what a great day. Okay, am I gonna get demonetized? Was this actually rated PG? Someone needs to explain in the comments. I am lost. Like he was licking that air watching her change. This is raunchy. I am clutching my pearls in this moment. But all the sensual tension is broken by the goat stumbling in all drunk. Goat, come on. Why did you get so drunk? Now go to sleep. Why do I actually feel bad that the goat isn't getting her man? Like, <laughs> I actually am watching this and feeling sad for the goat. Like, why am I rooting for a goat and a human man to date? Oh, just a little goat. I just feel bad for it, you know? Everything's spinning. Holy. Oh, man, I'm drunk. Oh, oh, there. Goat, come on now, pull yourself together. You're coming off very desperate. He doesn't want you. She wins, you lose. Like, it's time to face the facts. What was that? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Ooh. Jimmy. <laughs> it's nothing, come on, come on. <gasps> nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like what are you doing? Wow, just to rub salt in the bullet wound. This is getting so embarrassing for the goat. It's just downright pathetic now. Like going out and getting blacked out because your man picked a hooter woman. And now like you're stumbling through the alleyways, peeping on them, hooking up. Like this is an all time low. This should be your rock bottom goat. And I hope you can take that in and realize, okay, we're at rock bottom. It's, it's, it's hard as rock down here. But there's only one way and it's up from here. I can turn this all around. Like, come on now, goat. Be right back, sorry. <sighs> you know, I wasn't expecting to see cartoon ass today, but here we are. Hell yeah. What is this? Okay, where is Big Booty sneaking off to though? Good thing Goat is stalking their every move. We need to get to the bottom of this. Is the goat gonna expose Katie for like doing something all sketchy and then the man will end up picking her, the goat, instead of Katie? This is getting good. Katie's creeping around a graveyard at night. Like what is going on? She's stealing nails from the coffins. This is dark. Is Katie demonic? I'm lost. Uh-oh, the devil twink man is laughing all scary. So this isn't good. When a possessed twink laughs like that, you know something horrid is about to transpire. Please don't do it, Master Hainich. <sighs> I'm actually confused. Like, what's this old man gonna do? I apologize, guys. I'm trying to stay in the loop, but I'm just getting distracted by like the boobs, the motorboating, that ass of it all. Like, I'll admit it. I'm having trouble keeping up with the family children's animated movie. It's too much for my brain. He broke the town clock? Gosh dang it. Oh yeah, not only have they been building that bridge from before, they also like have been building a clock the whole movie, which everyone was all excited about for some reason. Like getting that hype over over a clock. Losers, get an iPhone. Back in the day, they probably did get all excited about stuff like that. Oh my gosh, they built a clock in the village. Now everything will be timed and we're all on a schedule and everything's regimented and hour by hours will be booked and yay, time. What have you done, Master Hainish? Wow, the clock is ruined. Are you kidding me? I'm still confused why Katie was creeping around in a graveyard stealing nails. Like, I have so many questions. They better explain all this. <gasps> she did it! You're right. She's the one. Oh, great. And now they're accusing the big boobed lady of breaking the clock. She didn't break the clock. This is just one big mess now. She is in handcuffs. Mm. She is a killer. She is a <laughs> After careful consideration, I think I might like this place after all. <laughs> okay, we need to take notes from the medieval times. Like if you committed a crime and people lined up on the streets chanting at you like that, I feel like if that happened today, people wouldn't do crimes. Like not even petty crimes, like stealing from a gas station or something. If after you stole from the gas station, you had to walk down three blocks of everybody in your little neighborhood chanting at you. She is in handcuffs. Mm. She is a king. <laughs> like, oh, see alert, see alert. You deserve jail time or whatever. Like, that would solve crime. Honestly, they had it right back then. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'll fix the clock for you. Yes, I thought you'd come to your senses. You have this much time, or Katie will be hung. But you can't do that. Hanging in the afternoon. Okay, he better fix that clock. I honestly don't know if I can continue to live in my regular life outside of all of this if Katie dies. If the big breasted lady is no longer alive in this fictional universe that doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever, I refuse to go back to my regular life. I will stay down here and mourn her for life for the rest of my days. Also, why are the knights asses out. Like, again, I am lost. Is this a historical thing I wasn't aware of? Were medieval knights always bare-assed? Let me know in the comments. I am so confused. We're gonna save you, Katie. Don't you worry. You're not gonna be behind those bars much longer. You and those hooters will be free. yoo <laughs> Hello? Want some company? Is there about to be a surprise lesbian bestiality moment? What doesn't this movie have? When they were making this movie, they swung and maybe were hoping to get to second base. They made a home run in my book. Like, are you kidding me? I love lesbian bestiality moments. Just kidding, I don't, but I'm not happy to see it. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm surprised in a good way. Okay, anyway. No, you can't find peace and quiet anywhere in this town. Now, you were saying? Do you think I could talk you out of that yellow dress? As Sheena Shea from Vanderpump Rules says, it's all happening, honey. It's all happening. Okay, back to the devil twink. I guess he's gonna get killed by the devil or something. I don't really know. I don't want to be rich. Take the money. I want my soul. Oh, okay, so I guess he sold his soul to be rich. And now he's like, oh, I want my soul. I don't want to be rich, which is obviously stupid. Like, take the money and run. Who needs a soul? <laughs> Jimmy. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry I ate the plans. Oh no, this goat. You are embarrassing yourself. You literally got breast implants and a BBL to look like Katie. The goat needs to hear the beautiful saying, be you, everyone else is taken. Honestly though, this is low self-esteem behavior. Like, do you really think the goat spanking man is gonna see your new body and be like, oh, it looks just like Katie, I guess I'll date you. Honestly, he probably will think that though. Like he's the type of guy where that would work. The goat spanker isn't fixing the clock in time, so they're gonna hang Katie. Are you kidding me? And the whole town is eating it up. <laughs> They're like, hang the witch! Kill her! You deserve it! They need to bring back public hangings. <laughs> Just kidding, that's one thing we can leave in the medieval times. I wonder if in the ancient times though, like if you ever were just about to be hung and then somehow like the truth came out and you were wrongly accused and you went about your regular life again, like that would be awkward for a few days. Being in the village with everyone who was like chanting so happily for your hanging and it's like, now you're still alive. You probably have to move to a different village. You guys, at the last second, the goat spanking man fixes the clock. Yes! Yes! Katie isn't gonna be hung. In nomine patri et fili et spiritu sancti. Amen. Wait, what? What? This is horrid. This is worse than when Liam Payne went on the Impulsive podcast. What is going on? Katie! No, the goat spanking man is praying or whatever and it works. Katie's back. Prayer works. Katie. Jemmy. You guys, why is the Hooters lady crying? I think I know why. Did the goat sacrifice her life? Like since she already got the breast implants and the BBL, she kind of looked like Katie. Did she pretend to be Katie and get hung? What? She did it for me and for you, Katie. I'm so very sorry, Jemmy.
I'm actually sad. Like, I actually feel sadness deep in my soul. In my heart of hearts. Like, that poor goat girl. She was beautiful, but she was lost. She was an alcoholic on the down low. She was fun. She was supportive. And she gave her literal light so her crush could be with his lover instead of her. Because she knew that the goat spanker liked Katie more. She's a hero. Are you kidding me? The goat just dies at the end of Ghost Story? This is horrible. And honestly, what are they going to do now? Katie can't go back to the town. Everyone thinks she got hung. Are they just going to run away to Florida? <coughs> huh? Goat. <coughs> what are you two still doing hanging around, huh? <laughs> Shut up. The twist. You guys, I didn't see that coming. You better not be pranking me, movie. The goat is still alive. That crazy goat. They don't explain how the goat survives, but like something pops out of her neck. So like she had like a little tube in her neck that made it so like she didn't get hung. I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. But she's alive and that's all that matters. And they they ride away happily into the sunset. They agree to be sister wives and have a little thruple moment. <laughs> Polygamy vibes. And for some reason, the possessed twink follows them. I didn't really get his whole storyline. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention to his parts because he didn't have big boobs. So kind of just wasn't really fully there when he was on screen because I was waiting for Katie to come back on screen. And it's over. You guys, this was an honest to God masterpiece. It was a journey. Thank God that big boobed cartoon popped up on my Twitter timeline. I would have never watched this otherwise. And what kind of life would that be? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe. Make Katie's Hooters stay with you. Bye.